Hey, what's up, SaaS Masters? My name is George, and today I want to show you a deal called MarQuiz. This one lets you create quizzes that you can send out to your customers, and they will fill it out, and they can get incentives for this, or based on points, give them something. So it's pretty easy to build them with MarQuiz, so I want to show you this in this video. So let's go jump over to my desktop to check out the deal, and then jump over to MarQuiz dashboard. So let's head on over there. Okay, everyone, this is the deal that's going on right now, and it starts off at $49 for a lifetime deal. So that means you pay once, use it forever. And one of the important things that they say right here is that you can build a quiz in less than 15 minutes. So basically, in my honest opinion, you can build quizzes in less than five minutes. What's going to take you the most time is what type of questions you are, you're going to ask. But building it is super easy, and I'm going to show you that in this video. So what does that $49 plan give you? Basically, you have no limits on the editor. For example, unlimited questions, unlimited quizzes, 12 question types, you, have, you guys have templates, and you have all that available. Link it to domains, custom domains, but the limits come over here. So the $49 deal gets you 1,000 leads per month. So basically, if someone views the quiz, you don't have a lead, that's not gonna count. But if they fill out the, the quiz, that's gonna count as a lead, and it's gonna be deducted from those 1,000 leads. Now, for most people, 1,000 will be enough, but one of the drawbacks is that it has branding. So if you want to get rid of branding, I recommend you jump to license tier one, which has white labeling and you can remove that branding. Now, heads up in this video, I am using license tier one. So the branding that you're going to view in this video is the one that you're going to view. If you don't get the white label, it's not bad. I don't think it's big. So it's, it's subtle branding, but if you're afraid of branding and you don't like it because you want to look really pro, then jump into license tier three. Okay. Let's go jump over to Marquis. This is the Marquis dashboard and let's go ahead and create one. Let's check out the templates. Let's create a quiz right here. And these are the templates that are available. Um, not a whole lot of templates. I think it's about 20 templates, three, four, five. Yeah, about 20 templates. Um, you can preview the templates if you like to use it. So for example, if this is something that you might need and it looks similar to whatever you want to do, then it's a good way to get started because it saves you a lot of time. And you can view the template right here, how it's really interactive. They look nice. You got shiny buttons. You got your forms. This is the incentive that you're going to give them. And one of the things we're going to look at right now is how to add the incentive and how to add points to each time they answer something. So at the end, you decide what to give them. Hold on, that, that didn't want to open. Close that. Okay, so let's select this right here. And let's go ahead and say number two. And this is the way to get started, okay? This is the first part. You get the starting page, the questions, the outcomes, the lead settings, and the boost conversions. Let's check them out, okay? First, we're in the start page. Now, start page is optional because maybe you don't want people to waste time. You want to take them right to the questions. Well, you can disable it, but in this case, we'll keep it enabled. Now, this is pretty cool because check this little eye out. Okay, I'm going to open the eye and close the eye. It gives me a preview of how it's going to look when I make the changes. So for example, the button says, get it now. We're going to say, say, start now, start now. All right. And it's updating here on the live preview. Now you got three types of designs. So it's standard, expanded, and centered. Standard would be this one. Check that out. People like this kind of look. In my case, I like the expanded because it looks more professional, but this one will only show, for example, on desktop. If I wanted to view mobile, this is how it's going to look. So. Just you get an idea of how it's going to look mobile and desktop. Now we can change the image or we can add a video, the element layout. If you want to change it to the left, centered or right, you get to preview it, how it's going to look. Is it going to be a start page or a landing page? If I select landing page, it's going to add a logo on the top and a fab icon. We'll keep it on start page for now. All right. And we'll keep this one enabled. But like I said, you can disable it to save the changes. You got to save them. Then you can preview it. So it actually takes effect. Now, the good part, the questions. This is the most important part, obviously, about the quiz. What kind of options do we get here? Um, let's get started with the type of questions that we can add. Let me show you this preview first, okay? Let's get started. You got the bullet points right here. You got the image type, and all the rest are going to be image here. So, bullet points and image. Let me show you the other type of questions. Let me add one right here. And these are the type of answer types that we can select. So we got the answer options. So basically boxes and you can select one or several options with images. The ones that you saw right now, images based on options, the emojis. So for example, in emojis, you can ask a question like, how, ha how happy are you with, with our service? 
and for example I can add an emoji and we can start off with I don't know the love one um, I love your product and then you go from another emoji with a straight face and then emoji with a mad face and you know you can make that type of quiz in that way let's go add more questions you got the input fields drop down list um, that's pretty obvious just drop down uh, a date picker a slider slider is interesting and helpful for example this is the slider and we can set a minimum for example I could say um, what is your budget for example that could be a question and the maximum will be 1000 so 100 to 1000 and the steps would be like the increments so increments will, will go by steps by 10 by 10 so if I select one it's gonna go even um, 98 99 100 in this case it's gonna go 80 90 and 100 because I, I set that step you can set a range or you can set to let them skip or not all right let's get rid of that one and you're also you're previewing you're previewing it on the right add a question right here you have the file upload and the inter page those are the ones that are available now what can we do with these questions now there's a little conditional logic right here um, icon in this case right here it's enabled and I'm going to show you how it works now in my honest opinion I think the conditional logic needs uh, more options it's pretty basic conditional logic only lets you hide or show fields all right so in this case we have the first questions well actually it's the third one it's what worries you the most about your skin and in this case for example where do wrinkles appear so there's a question before that that says mimic wrinkles the rest don't have to do anything with wrinkles so what this conditional logic is going to do is show this question if they select the wrinkled ones all right so let me click on conditional logic and like I said before you have the option to show or hide in this case it's going to show this one and you're going to select it right here so if they select mimic wrinkles it's going to show all right now we can add more to this conditional logic because I'll give you an example I'm gonna add another conditional logic and it's gonna be this one right here we're gonna select what's your age so if the age is for people for example obviously um, we get wrinkles when we get older it's normal I can select 30, 36 to 45 years old and if I hold control shift I can select another one so if they select 35 to 45 years old and over 45 this is gonna show so my conditional logic is saying condition one if they select mimic wrinkles and if they are this or over this age we're going to, we're going to ask this is going to appear and we're gonna ask that in the quiz if not we won't ask it so but if I want it select one or the other I select or but in this case we want to do a combination just so you get an idea of things you can do with conditional logic so in this case I'm happy with that I can save it and that conditional logic is added right now so they have to meet these two criterias to actually view that right there so it's pretty interesting what you can do with conditional logic so those are the question types and the conditional logic that you get now the outcomes what's gonna happen with the outcome let's create the outcomes right here and you have after the lead form we can show multiple outcomes we can share results available right there and we can set points to these answers so for example let's just say you want to make this a quiz for score let's just say hum you know what this is a, a I don't know how to uh, lose weight form all right quiz um, if the points are over 200 then you need to join this program all right just something like that so I would say for example these will give you 20 if you answer these questions this will give you 23 this one will give you 29 this one will give you 40 points this will give you five and zero give that a zero all right if this were a, like a weight thing right so if you have these ages once you go like older then you probably need this program just to give an example all right or you can make it the other way around if the points are less than this then that's going to happen now this is the way you set the points for each individual answer that you're going to give because at the end you can set whoops I didn't want to set that at the end you can set what you want to do with those points so let's just say we're done all right and we have the con the content right here if you want to give them content or you want to redirect them once they're finished do you want to just send them out somewhere else it's going to be a condition right here if you want to set that it could be a condition based on any of the ones that you said before or content maybe the, the redirect could be is like you know what I'm not interested in this product and one of those quiz questions well you just send them out to another page if you like or you give them in an outcome like I said before let's well in this case it's the cosmetic one so the outcome can be um, you can get this 
cosmetic kit. All right, and description of the kit, you know what, five boxes of X things, right? You can add an image right here. So let's look for something on, on, on Splash. Um, makeup. All right, let's just say that's the kit they're gonna get. You can crop it right there. That's what the part we wanna use. Add it to the image. The cost of this kit is going to be $1.99. And you can say exactly or from and to. All right, the button text is optional. So for example, like, get it now. And you send them to like a specific link of your store or your sales card. This doesn't include a payment gateway, just to give you a heads up, all right? And we can add some conditional logic right here or based on points. Remember we added those points? So if they have more points then, for example, if they have more points than 30, then this is going to appear. Or if they have less than such points, then they get this, all right? That's how you use the points. And it's pretty cool because you can do a lot with it. I mean, it doesn't have to do something with something you want to sell. Maybe something, give them a, a, a free PDF or something like that. And we can add more to this. It doesn't have to stick with just one. You can add more and more right there. Okay, get rid of that one right there. And next thing we have is the lead form settings. Now, when you go to the end, let's check out the preview right here. It's asking for the name, email, and phone. Now, in this case, we do want the email. We want to capture the, the email right there. I am not sure why they don't let you add more custom fields right here, or maybe I haven't found it, but that's all the options that you see right now. Now you can turn this off or turn it on. And they have a second step if you like to put it in two steps. Messenger and social networks, if you want to add those there. On request contacts, send to chat bot, any of one of the ones there. For the phone, we get the phone mask. So in this case, we're viewing the preview right here. It has that little flag and it drops down. You can remove that if you like text on the lead form. So what you see right here is what's written over here. Okay, so we're good with that. And boost conversion. Now boost conversion is you can offer them incentives for this bonus and perks. Um, at the beginning, you could see the form. Let me save it right now. Preview it. All right, so we have this incentives right here bonus after passing the test. So we have a free consultation and a 10% discount when you when you fill this out. So that makes people want to fill out the quiz. So you can customize those right here. For example, I can get rid of it or add a new one. For example, a discount. This can be a discount or whatever. It's going to be like a $5 discount. It can be descending, ascending, and descending right there. And it's added it right here. Do you see that? You can do that really fast and really easy. That is how you build the quiz. Now I've been taking, uh, where's my camera? 13 minutes to make this, and I'm basically explaining to you guys what you can do. This is really easy. You can build your own really fast. Next, I want to show you the quiz installation. Now, we can have a link by them, like it's a short link, and you can say um, test form, all right? Hey, that's already taken. Test form, all right? So it's gonna. you can use that link, send it out, and they can use the form. You don't have to have a website to use this. Now, if you want to activate your custom domain, you can do it by pointing, if you're going to use CNAME, point it to here. If you're going to use an A record, point it there, add the link there, and it has your own. Now, I've noticed that each single quiz can add their own, what do you call it, um, custom domain. So that's pretty cool. It doesn't seem to limit you there. All right, what else can we do? We can embed this on a website, close the side, and it gives us the option. If you want to do a button, a banner, website block, auto opening, and a widget. So you have those options available. Now, let me show you really quickly the preview because you might have missed this. The branding. This is the branding right there. Made in Marquis, all right? So if you don't like branding, jump over to tier three. Those are the options that you get. And we have the appearance. So right now we're, view we're viewing everything kind of like pinkish and that's something maybe you don't like. Um, we can go, for example, these are preset themes. And you can, for example, select different ones. Check those out. Even dark mode, low coast, copper red light blue, dark, etc., etc., or create your own custom um, theme right here. So you have those options available. You have the settings, basically the quiz interface language, the dollars, uh, privacy policy, you can add your own custom privacy link, and the end, the integrations. Now, email is connected because once they fill out the quiz, you get that email, right? You can use Telegram also. We have the analytics from Google Analytics. We have uh, Facebook Pixel, TikTok for Business. The most important ones for me is Webhooks and Zapier, right? So those will help you out. And you have the custom code available right there if you need to add something custom. That is, for example, how you set that up, how you integrate it, 
and everything. It's super easy. In this one right here that I made a test, I have my own custom domain. So for example, I click there and it goes with my own custom domain. So that is how you add that custom. It's super easy and fast to create your quizzes. So there you go. That is the deal that's going on right now. It's a lifetime deal and these replenish each single month. So for example, if you fill out um, 500, then you get 500. You stay with 500 in that month you can use. And the next month it's gonna renew to 1,000 unless you jump to the license tier two or license tier three or go all the way up to five, which gives you 10,000 leads per month. That's a lot of leads. But there you go. That is the deal for Mark Quiz. I think it's actually pretty good. I like the way it looks. I like the settings. I wish the conditional logic was better. That's uh, what I would suggest that they implement something more complex like other form builders. But overall, good looking, good price and easy to build. Well, thank you guys for watching. My name is George. This is SaaS Master and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.